Hey everyone, um, in today's video I'm gonna go through a photo shoot that I did recently with the model Jocelyn. Um, this is a urban fashion themed photo shoot. Um, so we were shooting the late afternoon, um, kind of like two hours before sunset. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go through this photo shoot and uh, go through some photos, and then we're gonna talking about the lighting, the uh, camera settings, and also I'm gonna draw some lighting diagrams. So hopefully this video will help you on your next photo shoot when you're shooting outside. Okay, so let's get started. So first, let's um, talk about uh, the location. So um, let me switch to uh, Google Map. So we were shooting in New Westminster. Um, it's a, it's a, one of my most favorite shooting place and like a lots of a old building and there are old churches over there. So this is where we started. We start uh, in front of this church. So if we uh, we back to the uh, the satellite view. So we basically shooting in front of the church and then we start shooting between these two buildings. Then we move to the back of the building. Then we walk uh, one block south. And then we to, we shot at the uh, Clarkson Street. Uh, we're shooting around these fence. Uh, let me switch to street view. So we're we were shooting over here. So um, this is the west. So the sun was setting around here. Then after that we walk one block to the west. Then we finish our photo shoot over here. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, go back to the photos. So start from the first photo. So this is was uh, taken in front of the church. Um, so the sun is coming from here is roughly around 10 or 11 o'clock position. So I get the model to turn her face away from the sun to avoid the hard shadow on her face. And then I just add the salt box over here. The very very soft light over here mm, yeah so um, the, the soft box is roughly around 9 or 8 o'clock position yeah then yeah you can see this is a very bright ambient definitely high-speed sync yeah shutter speed roughly around uh, I think it's uh, 1 1600 seconds yeah high-speed sync I don't use ND filter yeah, if you uh, zoom in you can see on model's eyes there's a uh, the reflection of the street box, right? Yeah, so this is the first shot. Then the second one, yeah, this was taken between the two buildings. Uh, this shot was um, ambient only. Uh, why is that? Is because uh, I basically all the ambient are pretty soft and diffused. The sun is blocked, and she's under the shade. Um, there is a uh, very soft ambient light just directly behind me is almost like a huge uh, salt box right behind me so then I found the lighting is pretty good just shooting ambient only yeah you can see there's no salt box right there uh, by looking at the reflection of her eye right so, yeah so uh, this is the second shot then we move to the, the back of the, um, the church and then the lighting condition changed right away very very strong sun directly under the sun you can see her hair it's very bright um, the reflection from the from the wall from here is a very very bright even on the on the pavement so for this shot uh, the lighting diagram if we draw uh, a top view lighting diagram like this is the wall the model is here she's facing this way the sun was right here and then I put my saw box somewhere around here. Then I was over here taking the shot. Yeah. So the saw box I chose for this whole photo shoot is a one by three uh, street box. Um, so you can see the street box did a great job first to cover her body, right? So it's not like a beauty dish, just her face got to be properly lit. And actually, her whole body was lit by the. Um, Saw box. Then at the meantime, the shadow over here 
over her right side of her face is a, is protected. So I protect the shadow over the right side of her nose and her face. So we can. So this lighting will be a better light to showcase the shape of her face. Yeah. So this is definitely a high speed sync. My shutter speed is, uh, is uh, probably up to uh, two thousands of second. The exact number really doesn't matter. Um, it's more about how you uh, <coughs> match your ambient light level with your uh, match your strobe output with the ambient light level, then get the natural look, right? So if uh, it's pretty straightforward, if it's too dark, then you just add more light. If it's too bright, you cut it down. But the thing is, we need to um, um, do this come with experience and. You need to train your eye so you know when to stop, when you need more, when it's too much, right? Okay, now let's go to the next photo. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much the same lighting setup. Everything stays the same. I just get model to turn more to the camera. In the meantime, I switch my uh, softbox a little bit more uh, to closer uh, to the camera. So the lighting diagram, so this is that wall. The model is here. She's facing here. The sun is right here. My salt box is a little bit more this way than the cameras right here. Okay, so next one. Yeah, so we walk a little bit to the west. Then uh, I really like this brick wall, and I like the streets. It's kind of clean, and then it creates this clean background. I just wish the cars uh, uh, weren't there. And actually, this is my car. I didn't realize I'm gonna take a photo shoot over here, so I shouldn't park over there. But anyway, so let's talk about the lighting. <clears throat> so this is also a very strong backlighting. Um, and so model stand here, the sun's pointing this way, then cameras right there is is a very backlight. Then I put my saw box right here, almost right against this wall, this brick wall. Yeah. Then you can see um, the um, um, the light come from the salt box is, uh, is a low level, and so it didn't overpower the ambient, which will generate a flashy look. So this is a, one of the uh, one thing you need to keep in mind when you shoot backlight. You you uh, strobe have to come with the right level, cannot be too bright. And cannot be too dark. If it's too dark, it's not making any difference. If it's too bright, you got a flashy look. I most of the time I see uh, when people doing shooting backlight, their strobe output is too high. So just something you need to pay attention to. Okay, so the next draw, yeah, this is the same. It just uh, she changed her posing a little bit. Then I shoot like portrait orientation. The lighting setup is pretty much the same. So next one, then we moved to the Clarkson Street, and when we when we were shooting over here, actually the sun is already um, pretty low. It's actually behind this uh, high-rise building, so this guy is actually uh, a very good uh, ambient light. Um, why is it good ambient light? Because the 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 point light source, the harsh light is gone. We just have this like a bright sky, diffuse the light. So for this shot, the lighting diagram will be okay. So this is the fence, the model st standing here, right? My salt box is pretty much like a three o'clock position. My camera's right here. Then behind the model is just this diffuse the light coming to her from behind. Yeah, right? so the lighting, you can see the lighting on her hair is very diffuse. This photo is there's, there's no retouching or anything anyway. This is pretty much straight out of the camera. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So pretty much uh, uh, the shutter speed. This one is still shooting high speed thing. My shutter speed is uh, roughly around one thousand seconds. Uh, it's not as fast as uh, when I'm shooting directly under the sun, but uh, it's still pretty fast. So high speed thing is still needed. So when you're shooting outside, most of the time you need high speed thing. So then a couple photos, same spot, she just changed the pose. Then I believe oops, I believe I have a I have a behind the scene shot. Yeah, right there. This is a this is a behind the scene. You can see where I put my one by three three box is a shot with a Profoto B1. And this is a test shot. So you can see the lighting on her face is actually a little bit too much. 
Uh, this is in the middle of like when I was still tweaking my strobe to match the ambient. Yeah, so the final shot is actually, you can see the final shot is this one, no, not this one. The, the ambient is, is not as bright as the, the behind scene shot that I actually tuned it down a little bit. Okay, so the next one, then this is when we moved to, uh, to our last shooting spot, just like uh, at, the, at the bottom of the high res building. So we now we this time we move back to the underneath the sun again. So you can see the shadow over here, harsh shadow. That means this is a like a harsh light source over there. And then the light on her hair on this handrail is a very very bright, very harsh light, and it's it's overexposed definitely. But the thing is, uh, it's a small area. Just one thing. This that second thing is I need to keep that way so you have this uh, feeling of like uh, very strong backlighting. If I make it darker, or I make her face too bright, then right away this is gonna either look HDR or too flashy. Okay, next one. Okay, so this is when the sun is already pretty low. It's already behind the building again. So like just very close to sunset. Now um, this is also a straight out of camera. There's no editing. Um, so you can see the lighting on her hair, very diffuse light on her hair. Then uh, I switched to a 50 mil lens. I want to just do some close-up shots, headshot. Then with 50 mil, you can see the the blur, the bokeh is a lot better than 24. And yeah, then after that, the next one, yeah, same thing. The lighting set up, set up exactly the same. And this one, this shot is still pretty, um, pretty much like high speed sync. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, the lighting diagram will be uh, the models right here facing the camera right then the saw box somewhere over here then we have this very very nice diffused large light source right behind her yeah it's almost like when you're shooting the studio you have a huge gigantic umbrella or large octa saw box behind and above the model a little bit right but uh, when you're shooting outside, you just have this for free. All you need to do is just add light to uh, a model's face. So you can see on her eye, the catch light on her eye. Yeah, this is a street box. You can see it's not so bright. Yeah, because you need to match that level. So it still showcase uh, the shape of model's face. In the meantime, it's not so bright. So it doesn't look flashy. Yeah. So that's how we get a natural look when we're shooting outside. And this is also one of the most important part of uh, when you're blending your strobe with the ambient. Okay, so that's uh, all the photo that I'm going to go through with you guys. Um, I hope um, you can use some of these techniques on your next photo shoot and uh, learn something from this video. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment. I will try to answer as much as I can. Uh, also, um, I'm going to post more videos uh, talking about photo shoot, uh, drawing lighting diagrams, and also talk about camera settings, choice of lenses, and um, light modifiers, uh, stuff like that. So if you're interested, you want to see more, uh, just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, thank you very much.